News Nug Recap. This is the shit. That's the name of the strain of the nug I am showing you. I am your host, Coral, and I have been away from the News Nug Recap videos for way too long. I apologize about that, and I am back with four cannabis-related news stories that I shared with all of you on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter throughout the week. A lot of the stories that I share are submitted by World Reefers, so if you guys are ever reading the newspaper, who does that still, or surfing the web, and you find a cannabis-related news story about your area, send it over to me and I'd love to share it with the World Reefers. The first story that I want to talk about with all of you goes beyond cannabis and it does involve cocaine and perhaps other substances as well. Ireland is looking into legalizing possession of certain substances and drugs not to promote their use or to encourage their use in any way and still having large amounts of possession on the books as a crime. Really, they're trying to decriminalize being an addict. So having just a small personal amount would no longer be a crime. Seeking help because you are addicted to cocaine or heroin or you're having trouble managing your life in some way because of substances and drugs, Ireland's trying to make it a little bit easier for addicts to actually seek help rather than be punished as a criminal. They can actually be treated as an addict. So it's really, really interesting. I think if you're into ending the drug war, you've definitely considered how many drugs do you want to legalize? How far are you really willing to go and what your own stance may be on this? But I'm really interested to see how it works for Ireland and just the conversation shifting between criminal and addict when it comes to cocaine and heroin and other types of substances beyond cannabis. But cannabis is wrapped up into this decriminalization or permission to possess type ruling. So Ireland is making progress for cannabis, even in a kind of convoluted way. The next story is definitely one I had to bring to you on a video because it's just been too complex to type about. The the failed measure in Oregon, or excuse me, the failed measure in Ohio. I mentioned Oregon because last week, I think two weeks ago maybe, I did compare and contrast Oregon and Ohio and why Ohio might be benefited by waiting for a more suitable piece of legislation rather than rush in with the first legalization effort that has made it to the ballot. And it looks like Ohio kind of agreed with that saying or that idea because Ohio vehemently denied legalization in their state. To my knowledge, I think not a single county actually passed it. I know a lot of people were very upset by this and saw this as a negative. They saw it as cannabis is not getting the support it needs. Legalization is never going to happen. Prohibition is going to live forever. But in all honesty, I saw this as a win for people that know and love cannabis, a win for the future legal regulated market. And that monopoly was not something I felt comfortable supporting. I tried to be clear about that on my channel that I really encouraged all of you guys to read that law, really make sure it was something that you wanted to vote for. Don't just vote for something because it says legalize marijuana. That's not always the case. So yes, Ohio's ballot measure was defeated, but the article I pulled up from the drugpolicyalliance.org really focuses on why that's a good thing and what we can look forward to in the next round of efforts. The third story I want to share with all of you comes from the New York Times, and it's regarding Mexico. Mexico's Supreme Court doesn't work in the same way that the United States Supreme Court does. So just because this ruling has come forward doesn't mean that the laws are going to immediately change in Mexico. But their Supreme Court did open the door to legalization for Mexican citizens by ruling in favor of individuals having the right to grow and distribute marijuana for personal use. Again, the laws are not immediately changing in Mexico. There's a lot of power, money, and just things to consider already in place when it comes to Mexico, the cartels, the government, and the way that marijuana is grown and distributed right now. But it is a really, really positive sign from the Supreme Court that they are looking for legal and safe ways to distribute the cannabis that they're growing. They are looking to allow their own citizens to possess and consume cannabis when in the past they really consider most of the cannabis grown in Mexico to be leaving Mexico and to be for Americans predominantly. So to actually allow their own citizens to have access to it is a huge great thing and a lot of the anecdotal stories I've heard from 
two or three generations back of people using cannabis in my own life experience those come from mexican american families and mexican families so it's really really exciting to me to imagine how many grandmas and grandpas and just old family roots can actually be brought to light again and you can use cannabis in daily medicines or foods or just habits i'm super excited to see how mexico progresses with this the final story to share with all of you for this week is back in america and it's something that I'm going to say looks too good to be true. I'm hesitant. I'm excited, but I'm also just hesitant. Bernie Sanders, a potential presidential candidate in the United States of America, has filed a bill that would de- schedule marijuana and that's pretty much what we've been working for you guys that's what we've talked about for so long it would remove marijuana from the list of the controlled substances the controlled substances act which actually like lists marijuana as worse than heroin worse than meth it's it's pretty obscene how marijuana is classified on this list and removing it would free up so much other potential for banking for international trade for even interstate trade between one legal market to another it would be huge if we could just have it all federally recognized the same but anytime something seems too good to be true i am a little hesitant i am a little nervous to just say Bernie Sanders for the win. This is awesome. I don't really know. It seems awesome. I'm really into descheduling it. Um, it was filed Wednesday. It's called Ending Federal Marijuana Prohibition Act of 2015. Sounds great. Look into it. Check it out. Definitely stay informed while you're staying high. And do me a favor. If you like the News Nug videos, give this video a thumbs up on YouTube. And then bring up one of these stories in your smoke sesh this week. The next time you ask someone to pack you a bowl or roll up a blunt with you, say, hey, did you hear that Bernie Sanders introduced that bill? What do you think about it? What's the catch? Or maybe if you're smoking with someone that speaks Spanish and they're from Mexico, be like, hey, did you even hear about the news in Mexico? Because I just feel like things need to be talked about more. One headline's not enough. We need to talk about them in our group of friends. We really need to have a good understanding of what's going on. And I hope that the news night videos can help you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay high, you guys.